Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you my summer shower routine, how I shave, how I wash, how I exfoliate, all that good stuff for popping summer glowing skin. So I like to just start off by washing my hair. I wash my hair almost every shower now, whether it be with shampoo or with co-wash. Today I decided to go ahead and use my Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream collection. This was probably only my second or third time using all of these products, but I absolutely love them. The shampoo really cleanses my hair without stripping it of its natural moisture. The conditioner has a lot of slip, even though y'all know my hair is short, but I can feel my fingers running through my curls. And this Velvet Cream hair mask, Oh my gosh, it smells good. It's super, super thick. My curls just drink it up. And I actually like to apply it to my hair and leave it in during my entire shower. So next I'm going to exfoliate my face and exfoliating your everything is super important in the summer because it helps to keep that glow. I'm going to use my Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Exfoliating Mask. I just take a little bit of it on my palm. I apply a good amount of it to my face and then I just massage it into my skin. I really, really, really like this exfoliator because it's not harsh at all. It really helps to get rid of dead skin cells. It absorbs excess oil and refines your pores. I don't exfoliate my face every day. I usually only do it about two to three times a week. After exfoliating, you just want to leave it on as a mask for a few minutes. So I'm going to leave it on while I do the rest of my shower routine. So let's get into this body glow, honey. I've been loving the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Wash and Exfoliator. I'm first just going to cleanse my skin using the body wash. I love the citrusy, lemony scent, especially during the summertime. Time. When it comes in contact with water, it kind of lathers into this nice silky consistency and it leaves your skin feeling nice and clean and soft. Two of the main ingredients that stick out to me about this product are the aloe leaf juice which helps to hydrate, soothe, and soften your skin and then the glycerin is a humectant which helps to draw moisture into the skin and retain moisture and hydration. After rinsing that off I just like to follow up by exfoliating my entire body with the Bliss Lemon and Sage Satin Skin Body Polish. This is such an important step because exfoliating your skin helps to get Get rid of dead skin cells it gets rid of that dirty top layer which helps to reveal your nice smooth bright skin it's great if you have any discoloration on your skin any dark marks on your skin exfoliating is going to help brighten them and get rid of that I usually exfoliate my body at least two to three times a week the same way I do my face and this just helps to keep that nice overall glowing and even complexion. In this exfoliator specifically, it has super fine sugar crystals that exfoliate, but then they melt away as you continue to scrub with the coconut and jojoba oils, which leave your skin so silky and shiny. It also has honey and shea butter that help to moisturize your skin and smooth it out. Plus it has that same lemony citrusy smell that I love during the summer. I also find that it's super helpful to exfoliate your legs before you shave because it helps to give a nice smooth canvas to prevent any razor bumps or cuts. So this next part is super duper extra, but I like to exfoliate my feet with a different product. This is my Lush Pumice Power. You guys have seen this several times on my channel. I used it in my summer routine last year and I still love it. I still use it. I like to use this because it's designed to exfoliate the rough parts on your feet. So if you're like me and you work on your feet all the time, this Oh my gosh, it leaves my feet so nice and smooth, squeaky clean, plus it leaves a nice fresh scent on your feet so your feet won't stink during the summer, okay? Your toe is gonna be out all the time. You need to have nice, smooth, and baby soft feet. And I promise you with this product, you're going to get that. I love it, I stand. The only bad thing about it is that it does kind of run out pretty quick. So I only use it a few times a week so I can save as much as it as possible. Next is something that I get questions about all the time and that is my feminine wash. So I have a new favorite all natural feminine wash and this is actually created by one of my friends here in Miami, Florida. Support black businesses, okay? So this is called Sweet Cookies and it's a foaming feminine wash. Handmade, it's 100% organic and it helps to block odor, balance your pH, and increase the moisture down there. So I'm obviously not going to demonstrate how to use it, but hopefully you know to just use it on the outside. And I love using this daily. It keeps me feeling nice and fresh. So next, it is time to shave. I do not use Nair and I don't wax everything. I only wax my lady parts when needed. <laughs> but typically I just do the good old fashioned shave. I love still using my Shea Moisture Shave Buttercream. I used this in last year's video and I still use it this year. It's just the best shave cream to me. It gets a nice smooth and close shave. I never cut myself with it and it always leaves my skin feeling nice and smooth. I use it on my underarms as well as on my legs. 
legs. I forgot to show what razor I'm using. I actually don't even know what the name of the razor is that I use, but I always use a razor that has at least four blades. You can do three to four blades, but I like to go for four blades because it really does get the best shave and it also is better for your skin. So once I'm done shaving, I just rinse everything off and I just feel like a smooth buttercup. <laughs> so after I'm done with my body, I like to go back to my face and just re-exfoliate a little bit because sometimes it does kind of start to seep into my skin. So after massaging it a little bit more into my skin, I just rinse it off. And then after I rinse off my face mask, I go ahead and also rinse off the hair mask. So this next product is another product that you guys have heard me rave about a few times on my channel as well. I have been loving the Bella Noor Melanin Magic Body Oil. I love, love, love to apply this to my skin while I'm still in the shower and my skin is a little bit damp still. It's kind of a thicker oil, but it is amazing, especially if you don't want to use heavy moisturizers in the summertime. I'm in Miami and as soon as I step outside, I start sweating. So I don't really like to use heavy, heavy moisturizers. This oil... Oh my gosh, it seeps into my skin. It really does help me glow. It has this really awesome blend of African marula oil, argan oil, and moringa oil, and it just feels so smooth and luxurious when you apply it to your skin. This is actually my second bottle. I had to re-up because I've used my entire first bottle. I love Bella Noor. I highly recommend checking out their website. They're black owned again, okay? <laughs> so check them out in the description box below. You guys always ask me how I always look so smooth and even in all my pictures, and it's a combination of exfoliating and this body oil. <laughs> so before I hop out the shower, I do like to go ahead and tone my skin. I don't know why this clip is so blurry, but it's just my clear complexion toner. I do have a full video on my morning skin routine so I'm just following up with my serums and my eye cream and my moisturizer I will link my full skin routine in the description box below for you guys to watch once I'm done with my skin I like to go into my deodorant I've been loving this fresh sugar roll-on deodorant it's long lasting but it's still very gentle it has real sugar which helps to actually inhibit odor causing bacteria and it also has lemongrass and witch hazel which helps to reduce moisture under your arms so you won't perspire it also rolls on really smoothly and it dries nice and clear so it won't stain your clothes so next although the body oil does moisturize my skin pretty well on its own i like to go over like my drier areas on my skin with my bum bum cream this is another product that i used in last year's video that i still love and still use this year it smells so freaking good i really just apply it to like my shoulders and my elbows i do get dry patches on those areas sometimes i love this stuff because it is a Again, pretty lightweight so great for the summertime plus it helps to tighten and firm your skin so it looks nice and smooth and elastic it also helps to revive dullness and uneven texture so it's great for those dark ashy kneecaps girl trust me I know all too well my knees used to be like super black so next <laughs> another product that you guys saw last year that I still use and love this is my lush softy foot cream foot products are so extra but I love using this it leaves my feet nice and smooth and bright of course you can use regular lotion but it's the summertime treat yourself your feet gonna be out <laughs> so that is it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up you guys know those really help me out if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to do that and hopefully I'll see you in the next video bye